Hello, hello, my friends, and welcome back for another chapter of Divergent by Veronica Roth. Today, we are on chapter nine. Since there are an odd number of you, one of you won't be fighting today, says Four, stepping away from the board in the training room. He gives me a look. The space next to my name is blank. The knot in my stomach unravels. A reprieve. This isn't good says Christina, nudging me with her elbow. Her elbow prods one of my sore muscles. I have more sore muscles than not sore muscles this morning, and I wince. Ow. Oh, sorry, she says, but look, I'm up against the tank. Christina and I sat together at breakfast, and earlier she shielded me from the rest of the dormitory as I changed. I haven't had a friend like her before. Susan was better friends with Caleb than with me, and Robert only went where Susan went. I guess I haven't really had a friend, period. It's impossible to have real friendship when no one feels like they can accept help or even talk about themselves. That won't happen here. I already know more about Christina than I ever knew about Susan, and it's only been two days. The tank? I find Christina's name on the board. Written next to it is Molly. Yeah, Peter's slightly more feminine-looking minion, she says, nodding toward the cluster of people on the other side of the room. Molly is tall like Christina, but that's where the similarities end. She has broad shoulders, bronze skin, and a bulbous nose. Those three, Christina points at Peter, Drew, and Molly in turn, have been inseparable since they crawled out of the room practically. No. Those three, Christina points at Peter, Drew, and Molly in turn, have been inseparable since they crawled out of the womb, practically. I hate them. Will and Al stand across from each other in the arena. They put their hands up by their faces to protect themselves, as four taught us, and shuffle in a circle around each other. Al is half a foot taller than Will and twice as broad. As I stare at him, I realize that even his facial features are big. Big nose, big lips, big eyes. This fight won't last long. I glance at Peter and his friends. Drew is shorter than both Peter and Molly, but he's built like a boulder, and his shoulders are always hunched. His hair is orange-red, the color of an old carrot. What's wrong with them, I say. Peter is pure evil. When we were kids, he would pick fights with people from other factions, and then, when an adult came to break it up, he would cry and make up some story about how the other kids started it. And of course, they believed him, because we were candor and we couldn't lie. Ha ha. Christina wrinkles her nose and adds, Drew is just his sidekick. I doubt he has an independent thought in his brain. And Molly... She's the kind of person who fries ants with a magnifying glass just to watch them flail around. In the arena, Al punches Will hard in the jaw. I wince. Across the room, Eric smirks at Al and turns one of the rings in his eyebrow. Will stumbles to the side, one hand pressed to his face, and blocks Al's next punch with his free hand. Judging by his grimace, blocking the punch is as painful as a blow would have been. Al is slow, but powerful. Peter, Drew, and Molly cast furtive looks in our direction and then pull their heads together, whispering. I think they know we're talking about them, I say. So? They already know I hate them. They do? How? Christina fakes a smile at them and waves. I look down, my cheeks warm. I shouldn't be gossiping anyway. Gossiping is self-indulgent. Will hooks a foot around one of Al's legs and yanks back, knocking Al to the ground. Al scrambles to his feet. Because I've told them, she says through the gritted teeth of her smile. Her teeth are straight on top and crooked on the bottom. She looks at me. We try to be pretty honest about our feelings and candor. Plenty of people have told me that they don't like me, and plenty of people haven't. Who cares? We just... Weren't supposed to hurt people, I say. I like to think I'm helping them by hating them, 
she says. I'm reminding them that they aren't God's gift to humankind. I laugh a little at that and focus on the arena again. Will and Al face each other for a few more seconds, more hesitant than they were before. Will flicks his pale hair from his eyes. They glance at Ford like they're waiting for him to call the fight off, but he stands with his arms folded, giving no response. A few feet away from him, Eric checks his watch. After a few seconds of circling, Eric shouts, Do you think this is a leisure activity? Should we break for nap time? Fight each other. But... Al straightens, letting his hands down, and says, Is it scored or something? When does the fight end? It ends when one of you is unable to continue, says Eric. According to Dauntless Rules, Four says, one of you could also concede. Eric narrows his eyes at Four. According to the old rules, he says. In the new rules, no one concedes. A brave man acknowledges the strength of others, Four replies. A brave man never surrenders. Four and Eric stare at each other for a few seconds. I feel like I am looking at two different kinds of dauntless. The honorable kind and the ruthless kind. But even I know that in this room, it's Eric, the youngest leader of the dauntless, who has the authority. Beads of sweat dot Al's forehead. He wipes them with the back of his hand. This is ridiculous, Al says, shaking his head. What's the point of beating them up? We're in the same faction. Oh, oh, you think it'll be that easy? Will asks, grinning. Go on, try to hit me, slowpoke. Will puts his hands up again. I see determination in Will's eyes that wasn't there before. Does he really believe he can win? One hard shot to the head and Al will knock him out cold. That is, if he can actually hit Will. Al tries a punch and Will ducks the back of his neck shining with sweat. He dodges another punch, slipping around to Al and kicking him hard in the back. Al lurches forward and turns. When I was younger, I read a book about grizzly bears. There was a picture of one standing on its hind legs with its paws outstretched, roaring. That is how Al looks now. He charges at Will, grabbing his arms so he can't slip away and punches him hard in the jaw. I watched the light leave Will's eyes, which are pale green, like celery. They roll back into his head, and all the tension falls from his body. He slips from Al's grasp, dead weight, and crumples to the floor. Cold rushes down my back and fills my chest. Al's eyes widen, and he crouches next to Will, tapping his cheek with one hand. The room falls silent as we wait for Will to respond. For a few seconds, he doesn't. He just lies on the ground with an arm bent beneath him. Then he blinks, clearly dazed. Get him up, Eric says. He stares with greedy eyes at Will's fallen body, like the sight is a meal and he hasn't eaten in weeks. The curl of his lip is cruel. Four turns to the chalkboard and circles Al's name. Victory. Next up... Molly and Christina, shouts Eric. Al pulls Will's arm across his shoulders and drags him out of the arena. Christina cracks her knuckles. I would wish her luck, but I don't know what good that would do. Christina isn't weak, but she's much narrower than Molly. Hopefully her height will help her. Across the room, Four supports Will from the waist and leads him out. Al stands for a moment by the door, watching them go. Before leaving makes me nervous. Leaving us with Eric is like hiring a babysitter who spends his time sharpening knives. Christina tucks her hair behind her ears. It is chin length, black, and pinned back with silver clips. She cracks another knuckle. She looks nervous, and no wonder who wouldn't be nervous after watching Will collapse like a rag doll. If conflict in Dauntless ends with only one person standing, I am unsure what this part of initiation will do to me. Will I be Al, standing over a man's body, knowing I'm the one who put him on the ground? Or will I be Will, lying in a helpless heap? And is it selfish of me to crave victory? Or is it brave? 
I wipe my sweaty palms on my pants. I snap to attention when Christina kicks Molly in the side. Molly 